So we decided to do meat rabbits again. And I really um, hate having rabbits live in cages. And so I got this idea to build the ultimate desert bunny habitat. I raised rabbits before in the Pacific Northwest and I didn't really have to worry much about the heat. Um, but here in the desert, you have to worry about the heat with rabbits. And since we're going to be living off grid, I, I didn't want to have to do air conditioning since we don't, we're not using air conditioning. And since we're building an underground house, I thought, well, why not build an underground rabbit tree? And so we've got a great deal on um, Marketplace for a insulated uh, box that used to be like on the back of a truck. It's uh, eight feet by 12 feet. So we, we went and we got that and we um, brought it back up to the property and started gutting it out and removing everything we don't want in there and reinforcing it and getting it ready to actually put into the ground. So we dug a hole about half the width depth of it so we're going to set it into the ground. Uh, it will have a concrete foundation eventually, and that way it's um, secure. Rabbits can't dig out. And then also um, we're going to insulate it more and then completely bury it like a root cellar so that in the summertime here, when it gets over 100 degrees, that it'll be nice and cool in, inside the rabbit tree. And I plan to do colony. Uh, they'll have a like a doggy door so they can go outside. They'll have a predator completely safe outside area where they can go out into the sunshine and dig maybe a foot or two down in the soil. But the ground will have a um, netting on the bottom too so they can't dig out and or nothing can dig in. So completely safe and also just um, so they can live in the desert here and reproduce and live as a colony. I may um, put the males in, um, they may have large um, cages, that way I'm not um, having uncontrolled breeding and then just rotate the males in the outdoor area just to get exercise. So I haven't quite figured that one out yet, um, but the females, the does, they will be completely uh, free range, just uh, they have that whole inside area and then they'll be the outside area. And then for ventilation, we have a thermal tube that we're burying about uh, three, four feet under the ground, and that will pull uh, the outside air in, cool it down, and bring cooler air into the rabbit tree, and then we'll have a window with a screen so that the um, heat can go out and also it will ventilate the rabbit tree. So this is uh, part one of a couple different videos. So this is getting, um, uh, getting the box loaded and um, getting it prepped and the ground ready and then the next video will actually show us um, putting it into the ground and um, starting the process of getting it um, uh, desert proof uh, heat proof for these rabbits so thanks for watching
Come on, you can't do it. Oh. Almost. Just a little more oomph. Try doing the, the uh at the end. <laughs> Take a couple of breaths before you do it. <laughs> Oh, that was, that was close. That one was close. Come on, here you go again. This is it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. There it is. Woohoo! Good job. took down this metal here so we'll put that back up there was some water damage from the re leaky roof so we're repairing all that um, we took out the floor because we're going to put concrete down and uh, husband's doing some welding to do some repairs to get it strong before we lift it and put it into the ground She's always been in a cage, so she's getting to play in the dirt. <laughs> so today, we are digging a hole to bury the bunny house. It will be an underground bunny house, kind of like a root sailor for the bunnies. the hole dug for the uh, colony house and you can see behind me I'm inside of a big hole in the ground so the house will be about half buried or half down in the ground and then they'll be buried above the ground also uh, very similar to how people make like a root cellar so and then over here we're working on the thermal uh, where the thermal tubes will go we'll have one that will bring cool air um, the air will cool as it goes underground uh, it'll pull in the hot air and then it'll cool it as it comes um, underground into the um, the bunny's house and that will bring cold cool fresh air in and then there'll be an exit up high for the um, hot air to leave and so that'll keep it nice and cool in there uh, year-round salad of kale and mallow and dandelion and grass.